Hey, what's up guys? Dopesar930 here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Team Executor's Fusion Dash on your RGH. Your Xbox will need to be RGH in order to do this uh, tutorial or to follow it along, so make sure it is. You're going to be needing a NAND reader, a USB flash drive, a JRunner, and the Fusion setup software, which can be found in the description. So for starters, guys, we're going to go ahead and go under JRunner. You're going to need to have a dump of your NAND, so if you don't have one, get a dump now. Um, or if you do have one, go ahead and just open it up under Source File. Once you selected your NAND dump, go ahead and um, go down into Extract. All right, once you've gone ahead and extracted, you'll see down below that it says it extracted the files. The one we're looking for is the SMC config file. It's, it will uh, it'll place it in an output folder under where your JR runner is or J runner. Then you're going to go ahead and go under your Fusion Setup software and just follow this. It'll be different for everyone. I'm doing a Trinity console, so I'm filling it out for Trinity. It's a 16 megabyte NAND, a NAND unless you have a Jasper, then it might have a larger larger NAND. Then you're going to go under um, JRunner and copy your CPU key that loaded with your NAND and paste that in there, as well as your DVD key, which can be found under KV Info. All right, then under config blocks, we're going to go ahead and just browse to wherever, um, to the output folder of JRunner and select that. Then for these two options, it's personal options. It's just um, you could choose whether your, your um, consoles and be able to um, connect with a retail console or with another dev kit console. For me, I chose retail for both, but you might want different. That's fine. And you can also select alternate dashes down below. I didn't do that for the sake of this tutorial. Um, but you can do that as well. So you just go ahead and click build and save the fusion file that's going to be created wherever you want. I just saved it with my other files. Um, simplest things, you can name it whatever you want, but I just named it fusion to keep it simple and keep things organized. Alright, once it's clicked that, then you can go ahead and close down the fusion setup. And under JRunner, you're going to go ahead and select that under source file, go ahead and find fusion. Once you've selected it, just click write NAND and let it write all the NAND files to your Xbox. Make sure your Xbox is plugged into the power. Um, the power is plugged in, but the Xbox is not turned on. And once it's done with that, we'll go ahead and continue. All right, so now it's done writing. We can go ahead and exit out of that. You need to plug in a USB flash drive. Then under your Fusion folder, you're going to need to go under the boot disk folder that it comes with and just copy all the files and drag them over and uh, transfer them over to your flash drive. Alright, so go ahead and let this transfer over. Once it's done transferring over, all you got to do is plug in your flash drive to your Xbox 360 console and it'll pop up, and it'll glitch and it'll pop up a Team Executor installer. Just let it run through, don't do anything until it stops um, doing its, its install process. It could take a little while, so don't be discouraged if you don't see it pop up right away. Um, you also will need to have a hard drive installed on your Xbox because it will install some files to the hard drive that's necessary for Fusion to run. So <clears throat> all in all, once once you have done that, once it's installed, when you do boot on your console, you should be greeted with uh, Team Executor's Fusion boot logo. And uh, that's it, guys. Congratulations. You've installed Fusion on your dash. Not very difficult to do. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions on this, though, because it can be confusing um, if you don't have a tutorial. But, I mean, it really is not difficult to do. So hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, guys. You've been asking me for a while, so I figured I'd finally do it for you guys. And um, once again, thanks for watching Dopes 930. If it helped you out, please hit the like button.